In Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, we want you to believe in our cast of characters. By capturing the likeness of real actors and handcrafting costumes using traditional techniques, we'll achieve a level of realism that will further immerse you in our story. This is no simple task and has seen us push the boundaries of realism in video game characters, starting with Senua. My name is Dan Crossland and I am the character art director here at Ninja Theory. A character like Senua is comprised of many components, such as anatomy scans, facial scans and rigs, physical costume creation, hair and makeup creation. Most elements are created physically so that it gives us a good blueprint and ground truth model that we can digitize later. Much like film and TV, we're now creating real-life costumes that are scanned into the game. These are crafted with expert costume designers, using traditional materials and techniques accurate to the time period, to achieve a level of realism and detail that simply wouldn't be possible using purely digital techniques. From the first game, I didn't... I didn't really feel like I recognized myself that much because I'm wearing all this face paint and dreadlocks and costume and that's not how I walk around in real life. And also because the costume was modeled, it wasn't physically made, so I never actually got to wear it. Whereas this time around for Saga, we're actually physically making the costume, doing the hair, doing the makeup, so I'm getting way more attached to the character and I can walk around in the costume and like, it's, it's really, really cool. The main reason to create a costume physically is so that we can scan the actor playing the character within the costume. We want the costume to fit the body correctly and have the weighting and compression in the right places. And we want to feel the density of those fabrics and how they fold and interact when in movement. We wanted the clothing for Senua to be functional and support her journey. As a player, you want to get behind her trials and key moments to believe in her struggle. Dan would give me an initial drawing. Then we would have a meeting about breaking it down, you know, so he usually just gives me sort of like one angle, you know, so sometimes I'm not aware of what's on the back sides and stuff like this. So we'll break down what the costume is, how many pieces is in there. Then I'll go away and I make a twirl, so that's just like a, a mock version, a starting point, basically. Then we'll do one fitting. Things come to life when we, when we start using the materials that he's after. Um, then from there I will make the, I'll go straight into making the initial um, costume. We have one last fitting and then from there it's like breakdown mode. So this is the most exciting bit before we go to scan. We'll break the costume down, meaning basically we're just making it look old and worn and sort of, you know, as that's been in a fight or create these sort of like erosion lines and also work on the color a little bit more. In my studios, there are a lot of other artists, so I mean, to take the opportunity to work with other designers is sort of a, a given, really. I reached out to Weaver at my workshop called Francesca Miotti. We created, or she created, the most beautiful woven. She was using, using hemp shoot and nettle. It's on the side panels of Mel's outfit, and it is just stunning. It's so beautiful to work with as well. When creating Senua's hair for Hellblade 2, we did various shoots where we tried to use Mel's hair, but in the end, we had to mat it up and we chose to add on an air weave, which we added ash and pigment to. We're using all sorts of like putty and paste and maybe some dirt as well, so charcoals to create texture. And then from that, we sort of get a little bit closer to the next session of creating the hair. In Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, we partnered with our friends at Three Lateral to bring Senua to life. It was natural then that we would rekindle this partnership to explore just how far we could push Senua's believability once again. I 
The idea was to push the frontiers of digital humans and to bring them as close as possible to photorealism, while also experimenting or exploring new uh, cinematic techniques. The closer we reach photorealism, the deeper we, do, we go into the science. The science of human anatomy, the science of uh, physics, the science of simulation, and even the science of human perception. Just to illustrate, a few years back when we were scanning Melina, we captured a gigabyte or so of data in order to build her, her digital replica. Nowadays, we are capturing terabytes of data for every minute we are recording Melina within the scanning facility. When we look to create a digital double character, we need two things, great data and amazing runtime systems to recreate the performance from the stage. The way we go about this is to use 4D scanning. You can think about 4D scanning as an extension of 3D scanning. 3D scanning involves taking a large number of photos of an actor, all taken simultaneously from a variety of angles. Using this data, we can reconstruct a very accurate 3D model of the actor using a process called photogrammetry. Capturing 4D data involves the same process, but instead of photos, we use video. Once we have all this data, we can use it to create a set of blend shapes, a way of deforming the underlying mesh in a section of the face, and also a machine learning system that we can use at runtime to produce an incredibly realistic result. We use three lateral for this work because they're world leaders in creating real-time digital doubles, and we have a fantastic long-standing relationship with them. Our focus on crafting believability, as you've seen with Senua, will be extended to our principal cast in Senua's saga, Hellblade 2. Doing so takes a lot of hard work, problem solving and time, but the reward is the connection that we hope you will build with our characters. We're trying to immerse the player in Senua's world, and part of that is trying to create all aspects of the game so that they are believable. Making them in real life takes a lot more effort, for sure, but it hopefully makes everything more real for the player. To me, Senua's story in many ways is relatable to us now more than ever. She's a complex character with many layers, and for me, being able to work on a character like Senua is both a challenge, but greatly rewarding, especially when you see how the entire team brings her story to life. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass.